Hi, I'm Simon. Today we're touching down in uh, central Vietnam, in Hue, in the old capital. We're on the hunt today for some grilled and barbecued food from the local area in the center of Vietnam. So we'll see what's different from the southern area where we've just come from in Ho Chi Minh. So uh, we'll get out on the streets, see what we can find this afternoon. Landra and I only had a really short time in Hue, so uh, we thought we'd do a bit of exploring around the city. We had to get down to the station to verify these digital train tickets that we bought because it was a company we haven't used before. So we went for a walk uh, down one side of the Perfume River. For a, uh, for a smaller city, it's actually laid out really, really well. There's amazing gardens, there's fantastic local architecture with a French uh, theme as well. The monuments and stuff that you can find around the city um, as you're walking along, it's sort of like a mix of old and new, like the French style like these places and then you've got the traditional Vietnamese style uh, structures as well but yeah, really nicely laid out city, very pleasant to have a walk along the water. We went way down to the station, verified the ticket, went over the bridge and uh, then came back over the other side which is where the Imperial Palace is here and where the Citadel is and that was pretty uh, spectacular to have a look at as well. So bit of a walk to generate some thirst. Sun started going down so we popped into one of the local restaurants and uh, this is where we had the first bit of the feed. So these are lemongrass pork rolls, uh, just minced pork on a lemongrass skewer. You roll them up nice and tight, they're actually really delicious. And uh, they had this satay sauce there that was quite interesting but really nice as well. They also had some local um, central Vietnamese sausage that the guys had made and they were uh, really really good. A little bit expensive because it was in a restaurant not just a street food scenario but yeah the sausage was really good as well so uh, after we had the feed we motored down to the walking street where we hoped we'd be able to find um, some street food and barbecue sort of stuff nothing happening. You can see here the walking streets all set up but it's only restaurants. The only thing that was being cooked over coal was uh, what these ladies had going, some soup. So, so Len and I jumped in the rickshaws and we uh, headed over the bridge which is all lit up at night. They've got LED uh, lighting which is fantastic. We headed over the other side because we had it on good authority we might be able to get a feed over there. After, after a bit of a fruitless search on uh, on the walking street, there's heaps of restaurants there and bars, but not really much in the way of street food or people cooking over charcoal. So had it under good authority that out the front of the markets, when the market closes, they set up all the uh, street vendors, and there they are, all the way down the street. So we're at a, we're at the first one that's doing stuff with uh, cooking over live flames. So we've ordered a couple of oysters each. A couple with salt and pepper and a couple with satay. Oh, and they smell amazing already. Oh, sizzle. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Mm. That's all awesome. good. Okay, Selena and I just stopped at another place just down the road. These guys here. And uh, they've got some uh, sour pork that's in some banana leaves that we're going to give a bit of a crack. And also this pork here um, gets reheated and wrapped up in a uh, rice paper roll like what we had before previously uh, a bit earlier in the night, the nem lui, which they've got here, the skewers on lemongrass. So we're not going to get those again, but we're going to try uh, some of the, the pork and a couple of the sour pork oh, did, did. banana leaf. Oh, here it is. Oh, I'm bad. I haven't given you that. Oh. It looks so good. Oh, we're up. 
I think we're up. Where to go? Let's sit down. I have Mona Lisa. Let's have a look at it. So that's uh, fermented pork. So we'll have a bit of a look at that a little bit later. A bit whiffy or? No. Not at all. That actually smells pretty bloody good. Alright. Quite good. It's like a, it's like a sausage, Vietnamese sausage. Really good, good flavour. Beautiful. That's a winner, that one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, just those ones, thanks, honey. We've had lots already. Uh, okay, thank you. One beer, two beer. I highly recommend to those local uh, buy area beer. It's 19.90. What's the verdict, mate? Yeah. You alright? Not bad. Alright, beauty. It's a little froggy, it's getting crispy. Well, oh, that fire is nice and hot, that's beauty. Oh. Boss is doing a great job. The next morning I was on my own because Lena was a bit off colour so I uh, headed down to find a place to get some Bun Bo Hui which is a local noodle soup dish famous to central Vietnam. Found this great little local place, open air, it's fantastic, the uh, prices were good, there was a few people there, it was only about 7 in the morning. But uh, yeah, stopped in here, really, really good bowl of noodles, fantastic. They offer you accompaniments with it, there's chilli and lime and stuff you can squeeze on. Uh, don't go too crazy with those, just stick with how uh, the girls make it. They've been doing it for years and they know what to do. Mine had um, rare beef in it, but also had the blood cake there you can see, a pork meatball and a crab meatball, and it was absolutely fantastic, a really good bowl of soup. So yeah, they brought some uh, iced tea for me as well. And uh, the whole thing was fantastic. 40,000 uh, dong, which is cheap as chips, and it was really good food. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much for, uh, for a play for us. Next time we'll be on the train uh, on Hovan Pass, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you later.